quick, we got Miss Slowbus, aka Suki with the good cooch. <laughs> that name that she has still just cracks me up. Suki went around doing all this crying this year after being treated well, like like a prostitute after acting like a prostitute. All right, I'm not saying that who stuck their tongue down this girl throat against so her. That was YK Osiris. I'm not saying that what happened to her was right. I'm not saying it was right or that it was wrong, but what I am telling y'all is that a lot of shit that Suki did this year just simply didn't make no sense. It didn't make no sense for her brand, and it didn't make sense for somebody that says that they want to elevate the way that they do. Now Suki is round here. She then took in Shamar. She putting laces on Shamar. She she buying them all kinds of liquor. Did what what is what is really going on with Suki? I hate to say it, but damn it, Suki, you made me agree with Tasha K this year. If you want some respect, you got to treat yourself with some damn respect. Now, we didn't all know what you had to do to get your money and what you had to do to get on. But why is Suki still doing it? Why is why am I going on Suki page and I'm seeing toes in her mouth randomly? Why is she all in England talking about eating ass and eating ass and all, all, at, the, uh, uh, all at the museum? and she, Why is she doing all that? None of that is necessary. But then we're supposed to be surprised that they treated her how they treated her. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm just saying, why is she surprised? And so I got to get, I have to diagnose Suki with being, you know, a bit pre -tarded. You know, that's the level right under pre, uh, mental retardation. I already told you. And so what I'm getting her in 2024 is a caseworker. Since ain't nobody stepped up in her life to be no kind of mentor or no elder to show her how to turn her life around. And I'm not talking about Dr. Umar. I'm not saying Dr. Umar is the way neither. Because something about Dr. Umar tells me that they're both really one and the same. She just do her stuff in public and Dr. Umar does his stuff in private. No shade and no, I, there's nothing against Dr. Umar. But, you know, he talk about them black queens and Dr. Umar still ain't found not nan one. Not even one after all these years, not even one. I'm just saying. So for Miss Antibiotics right here, Miss Penicillin and Amoxicillin right here, in 2024, we're getting her a caseworker. And her caseworker is going to check on her monthly, <laughs> keep her on schedule for all her work events. <laughs> They're going to monitor her social media, <laughs> delete posts that are not conducive to her growth. <laughs> and we're going to help Suki grow in 2024. But what we're not going to do is continue to let ourselves be walked like a dog in a music video for a nigga that had the light-skinned bitches walking but had the dark-skinned girls on leashes. Are you crazy? You are. Your ass is on the slow bus around there with Sexy Red. We already know. But hell, you a mother now, so we're going to try to help you. Yeah, she she got, she got let a, she let a 19, how old is, is in a leash? How about 19, 20? She let a 20-year-old boy put her on a leash and walk her like a dog in a music video? But the light-skinned hoes was able to walk around? But the dark-skinned hoes had to be on leashes? Where Bill at? Y'all, somebody go find Bill. Somebody go find Bill. She been she been crashing out ever since Bill left. Somebody go find Bill because we need help with this. This is ridiculous. She wants some respect, but still on Instagram popping, playing bees and swallowing it down with Hennessy and and, and just what? there is no growth and there is no elevation with her at all. And in my humble opinion, this is nothing more than a beta sex kitten under MK Ultra mind control. And we just saw a little bit of what happens behind closed doors. We saw it on camera this year. That's really all it is. If y'all don't see the spiritual warfare that this girl is fighting, then you, you not woke. It ain't even funny. It's actually very sad. The girl really feel like she sold her soul and she ain't got no way out and she ain't got no choice but to do this. But with Jesus, there is always a way out. But it's going to require you to give everything up. Am I talking to her as Storm now or am I talking to her as the doctor? I don't know. But let's just, let's, let, can we just tell her? The devil gave you that money. 
It's going to take you giving it all up to give your life back to Christ. Just saying. You won't be broke, Suki. You know how to make money. You just won't, you know, make the amount you're making. I'm just saying. You're going to have to put your faith and trust in the Lord. That's all I'm saying. Surely by now, you'd have made millions. Surely by now, you got at least a house that's paid off, a couple cars that's paid off. You take care of your kids. That's all that matters, Suki. That's it. Selling your soul is not even real. Your soul don't belong to you, sweetie. It belongs to the Lord. You can't sell something that ain't even yours from the beginning. Uh, it's storm show. Uh, it's storm show.